Hello and welcome to the Tottenham America channel. Today we'll be looking at Tottenham's 3-1 win over Brentford as for the first time this season Tottenham took uh, two wins in a row home from two games. It's been since last season since we saw that uh, a record of 1-1-1 one, one, and one in the uh, Premier League and then a win against Coventry. So we've had two wins and two uh, one draw one loss uh, across the rest of the season. But today finally we held strong and we got a win and I think every Spurs fan in the world would agree that today was probably the best performance of the season that we've had so far. Um, maybe Everton was better but we were finally the free-flowing team that we were last season. I think the commentators pointed it out really well. One of the biggest things was that as soon as we got the ball, we never turned back like we had been in recent games. We always looked forward. Um, there was no sideways passing. There was no backwards passing. Every move was forward. And the minute we lost the ball, we pressed and we won it back. And that, I think, was the thing that mattered the most today um, against Brentford. Uh, the final score was 3-1. Uh, Brentford, of course, had to start off the scoring within 23 seconds. Uh, and Buemo, within 23 seconds, scored for Brentford to put the away side up. But Dominic Solanke scored his first goal for Tottenham since joining uh, the club on a club record fee from Bournemouth. Scored in the 8th minute to bring us level. Brennan Johnson scored off of a sunny assist in the 28th minute to put us up. And then James Madison put the game away in the 85th minute, chipping it over the goalkeeper. Uh, again, from a human son assist. So a really, really good 3-1 win today. Overall, I'd say um, we played so, so well today. I mean, it was a stark difference from what we've seen in the last couple games. Uh, we did have less possession, but that was not on account of less shots. We had 23 shots to um, Brentford's 6, 3.5 expected goals to uh, Brentford's 0.5. 10 of those 23 shots on target, 6 big chances. So it was a really, really good attacking output uh, display from us. I think if we had one point of disappointment, I think the big thing would be that we didn't uh, capitalize on uh, as many chances. I know there were many occasions where uh, Dan Kulisowski was in a good shot chance. Um, Solanke was in a good position. Brandon Johnson and we just could not put away those chances. So that'll definitely be something that we need to work on for next games because um, you know other teams won't give us as many opportunities as Brentford did. We had way too, we had a lot of opportunities to score with Brentford and that's why we still got three goals despite having 23 shots and the general trend of you know getting blocked or um, uh, saved or missed. Um, apart from that, I mean, as an overall team, from an overall team perspective, I think it was just a really good all-round performance. Um, you know, the, the attack was finally fluent today. Brennan Johnson finally clicked. Solanke also finally clicked. And then Son was just different class. But we'll get to that uh, when we go over the players individually. Uh, as a unit, um, I think midfield was great. Defense was pretty good. Um, but if we look at each player, I think Vicario had definitely a couple shaky points. He made up for it with a couple of really good saves while we were 2-1 up. But... Um, Again, I don't know what's going on this season, but he's just looked a little, little bit unstable on the ball and in goal. And I think that's going to be a point of worry for Spurs fans if he doesn't uh, fix up soon. Um, defense was really solid. I mean, I loved our wingbacks today, especially Destiny Udoki. He was a powerhouse going forward, um, and we really needed that on the left side. Uh, moving to midfield, Ben Tanker and Madison, I think, were the highlights. Kulusevsky really dug in today um but i'd say ben tanker and madison were the ones who really made the impact madison was spectacular and really deserved that goal towards the end um but i think it was the attack that clicked the most today uh brennan johnson finally you know finding his feet again this season i know he's had a couple of poor performances so for him finding his feet to this again was really important Dominic Solanke getting his first goal. That's always promising. Um, but Son, I think, was the full, the biggest uh, shine of the game today. Two assists, but he was just lethal on, across the board today. Um, and he showed it with getting those two assists. But across the board, it was just a really good display from the South Korean. And one that we've needed from him for uh, a little bit now. So it's really nice to see him having that kind of performance. Uh, but overall, a really, really good performance from Tottenham and one that we needed um, because as we mentioned last uh, game, we're going into a stretch of um, time where we have four games in about two weeks. 
We've got Karabag, FK and Ferenc Baros in the Europa League and then Man United away and Brighton away in the Premier League. So we've got two, ve uh, two very tough games in the Premier League and then of course the Europa League we won't want to falter at all given the new league format um, that they rolled out this season. Uh, but this is a huge, a really important win for us on the Premier League side. Yes, it only moves us up to 10th place um, in the table, but either way, I think it is a, uh, it's more about the way we played, and if we can continue that going forward, that's going to be really important. Uh, but that's it for my review of Tottenham's 3-1 win over Brentford. If you enjoyed and want to see more Spurs content, make sure you like and subscribe. Comment down below your reactions to the match, um, as well as what you think of Tottenham's uh, style today, how it differed from the last few games that we've seen under Ange uh, this season. Uh, and until next time, come on you Spurs!